What's up guys, this is Sean Steven, your host from Charikas. Again, before we start, don't forget to like, share and most importantly, follow and subscribe to our channel. For this episode, we will be featuring the Subaru Forester iSide. As you can see over here, this model comes in three variants, which is the 2.0 IL, 2.0 IS, and the 2.0 IS EyeSight. Now this one over here, it also has a special body kit, uh, which is the GT as well as the GT Lite Edition to give it a more sportier look. This model over here is actually produced in Thailand. So you can say that this is a CBU unit, which is the model that we will be featuring today, the Subaru Forester Eyesight. Aside from that, it also comes with 5 years warranty or 100,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. Now let's check out the exterior of this car. So looking at the exterior itself, the front part, if you compare it with its predecessor, obviously there is some slight enhancements to the outlook. Number one, of course, is the C-shaped daytime running light. Also has a fog lamp. And if you see this compartment over here, if you press a button, this will somehow pop out a little and wash your headlamps. So your headlamps will always be clean. Aside from that, under this hood over here, it has the Subaru Boxer engine. Plus, this car comes with a pin code entry where you don't need to use your key fob to actually enter your car. You want to find out more about that? Make sure you watch till the very end because I'll be touching more about that later. And now for the side profile. Can you see that? This actually gives you a whole outlook to show how spacious it is inside. Give you a glimpse of what the side profile looks like. Definitely reflects on what you will feel later inside. But most importantly, over here, can you see this? This is actually a camera that gives you the view monitor. So later on, when I'm driving or actually when I'm inside, I can actually show to you what this side mirror is actually all about. Also comes with this rims over here, especially for the 2.0 IS eyesight variant. Right now, I'm inside the car, push start the engine. Think about how I'm going to adjust the aircon, I'm going to turn it up, alright? And you can see it's a, actually like a dual or triple climate zone where I get to adjust the aircon or air conditioning according to my liking. Now, one more thing is, as soon as I set into the car, I can feel how spacious this car is. The views that you can see, it's really, really wide. I actually feel kind of naked in here because I can see so much of the outside. Even in my side mirror, you can see it's really big. And also, obviously, people can see inside the car as well. Something I want to show to you is this one over here. This is the multi-info display that shows all sorts of info about the car. For example, you can see over here, this one actually shows how much of elevation the car is actually going through and also the distribution to all the wheels. As you know, this is an all-wheel drive. And speaking of which, Subaru Forester has this special mode called the X mode. Okay, so the X mode here, you can actually switch between snow dirt, that's right, or deep snow or mud, or you can press this down and this will be normal mode. So this actually gives you an option to choose between whether, let's say, obviously Malaysia, we don't have snow here. But if, let's say, you want to take it off-road, you want to go into the jungle, you want to go into muddy areas, this X mode gives better traction and better, better grip to the ground itself. And remember that camera that I showed you on the side mirror, you can actually press this button over here, you see view monitor, and it will be actually shown on this multi-display screen. Here, you can see obviously the door is already open, but this again will help you later when you are reversing into your parking lot. Or if let's say you want to go forward, you're not sure how far away you are from the car over to the thing in front of you. So this helps you kind of estimate where your car is exactly. Really, really cool feature. Wow! Very hot ah! Ah, don't need to worry because here, there is special vents for you, for you to get the aircon last. But most importantly, how is the space for the back passengers? I can tell you, this is by far one of the widest space I've ever experienced in an SUV. You can see, leg space is so much, head space so much, and even the views. Like I said, the mirrors or the glass windows is so big that I feel that I can see everything in this car. Over here as well, there is a very nice armrest with cup holders. Over 
overall, I would say it's a very spacious cabin that allows people to sit inside here very, very comfortably. Even if there's three people sitting here, it's more than enough space for everyone. All right, so for the back part of this car, you can see it has the C-shaped tail lamps. But remember I told you about the pin code entry? Well, you can actually access it through the back of your car. So there's actually a few steps you can do where you have to manually lock your car from inside and then you got to use your key fob to kind of press two buttons over here and you come to the back here and this is where you key in your five digit codes. Now it can go from number one or number two whatsoever by pressing one time for number one twice for number two, so on and so forth until you have reached that five digit code. The process is a bit tedious, but it actually gives you the option if let's say you're going jungle trekking, you don't want to bring your key fob along, you can actually leave it in the car and access your car later by pressing this code right here. And also, since we're already here, might as well check out the boot space. Yes! Power tail boot. So you can see over here, you can press this to close it as well. And here, this is where you can get 520 litres of boot space. What we have underneath here, this is where there's some compartments to keep some stuff. The spare tyres over here together with the tools. You can also see there is actually a charging port over here for you to charge maybe your vacuum and stuff like that. And obviously, yes, this is the back part of the Forester. And now, let's test drive the Subaru Forester EyeSight. So I'm already in drive. Road trip! Okay, so there's a few features like I can mention for this particular variant which is the EyeSight variant or the S EyeSight. Again, it comes with the EyeSight features such as adaptive cruise control, view monitor, lane sway and warning departure which we'll try and see whether we can test it out here on this road. Now most importantly, the adaptive cruise control yeah, which you can set already now they say it's from 0 to 180 kilometers per hour. So I can already set it now, which I'm going to do. Because it is an adaptive cruise control, right? So there is a button where you can adjust how near you want your car to slow down or stop before the car or object in front of you. So I'm going to set the speed here. Okay, I'm going to set the speed at about 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, but obviously, for things like example roundabout, you still have to slow down and drive accordingly. This is more convenient, especially if you are on highways and uh, it's a straight road or just not so windy road so that can actually help you make you less tired giving you more comfort at the same time what i'm going to do is i'm also going to see whether i can also do the lane sway and warning departure see whether it's uh, actually being uh, activated so it's already automatically on for the like collision warning and also the lane departure if i want to off it there's actually buttons over here to press so you can hear it i'm not sure whether the microphone can actually catch that so if i'm going to come out from the lane without putting signal so there is like a warning for that so they actually tell me there's lane departure cruise control is still on there's a car in front of me that is actually slowing down i'm not pressing anything it is slowing down on its own i'm not pressing i want to press the brake but i don't need to <laughs> ah! okay see my leg is up i did not press brake adaptive cruise control works and there's also two other buttons between the S and I. So this is like the uh, Subaru Intelligent Driving. So S, I think refers to like ports where the acceleration is faster as compared to I, which refers to intelligent, where I think it's more on fuel consumption saving. So it gave me a notification saying the car in front of me or the vehicle in front of me has moved, indicating that I should also press the throttle and adaptive cruise control is back and already activated and it's actually working right now now earlier i mentioned about x mode right so x mode it's more for uneven terrains or for example this one is for snowy or muddy terrains where i can actually activate it but remember i was telling you about the adaptive cruise control it actually works from 0 to 180 kilometers per hour the one where i mentioned about 15 kilometers per hour it focuses or it's more for the x mode where you actually have to be at a lower speed for it to be activated because at a lower speed it somehow gives you more uh, torque or gives you more power for you to come out of that muddy situation all right so what do i think about the subaru forester eyesight now driving is an excellent thing and also because of this wide or this really good view that I have in this car, it gives me more a sense of security and also safety because I get to see everything. Plus, 
having the eyesight, the adaptive cruise control, your lane sway and departure warning uh, really gives me not only a more sense of safety but also a very comfortable driving. Now comparing the Subaru Forester 2019 with its predecessor, the 2016 model, now you can see the table just beside me in terms of performance. They have the same engine capacity but the max power, top speed and also acceleration for this model is higher and also fuel consumption is slightly better and you know that this engine for this model is actually being used for the Subaru XV and now comparing Subaru Forester among its variants again it has the L, S and S eyesight now L has all these features as you can see in the table beside me aside from that the pin code entry as well as the X mode that is available in the S variant as well as for the S eyesight variant it has the eyesight features. For example, adaptive cruise control, the view monitor, as well as the lane sway and departure warning system. Now moving forward to the pricing for each variant. Let's move on to comparing it with its competitors. We're gonna compare the Subaru Forester with its competitors, which is the Honda CRV, Nissan X Trail, Mazda CX-5, as well as the Mitsubishi Outlander. As you can see, the table beside me shows all the comparison. But if you wanna find out more its comparisons, well, you can actually see a write-up. The link is actually available in the description just below this video. What do you think about this car? Make sure you write your opinions down in the comment section below. But most importantly, make sure you like, share, subscribe our channel and I will see you in our next episode at Charikas. Bye-bye!